I, I think that uh, if you uh, look at uh, the quality of life that we enjoy in Canada uh, and the, uh, well, no matter what measurement you take on an international scale, the success of Canadian democracy and representing the values and interests of the people uh, is really um, unsurpassed uh, uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, we inherit, uh, I think, the greatest parliamentary, the greatest democratic system in the world, and that is parliamentary democracy. Um, and uh, I think that uh, regardless of where people come from around the world, they can cherish this democratic institution that we inherited from uh, the British parliamentary tradition, and that our um, success is entirely founded on all of the attributes that that system brings, responsible government, common law, um, uh, uh, limited government, uh, economic freedom, all of the basic pillars of a free society that have allowed uh, uh, countries uh, throughout our civilization to enjoy so much prosperity uh, and uh, uh, so much uh, uh, well-being. Uh, so, Mr. Speaker, uh, I look forward to working with members across the way to build on the success of that great tradition uh, and uh, hopefully day by day, step by step, uh, making Canada's democracy even better. Thank you. Uh, questions and comments. The uh, Honourable Member for Edmonton Strathcona. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And for you, um, I would like to thank the Minister for his comments on this matter. Yes, he has brought forward a number of changes to the electoral system, of which Canadians were very upset about and expressed their disdain. Some of them we were able to beat back and not others. Um, I am disappointed, Mr. Speaker, that the Minister chose not to discuss whatsoever the motion before the House today. Um, and I would remind him, he speaks of responsible government. My ancestor, Father Confederation from New Brunswick, actually reluctantly became a Father Confederation because he wanted responsible government in this country. And Doug Bailey, the national president of Fairbrook Canada, has soundly supported proportional representation, saying it is not a system, it's a principle. And what does he say? It better supports our system of responsible government, but better ensuring a majority in this House reflects the majority of voters. Well, Mr. Speaker, if I look at the outcome in Alberta, as uh, my member previously mentioned, Conservatives in the last election won 66.8% of the vote, but 96% of the seats. NDP received 16.8% of the vote, only 4% of the seats. Saskatchewan is even more skewed. Conservatives won 56% of the vote, but 93% of the seats. How then does the minister think that his system, which he says he's willing to amend, which will better represent the, the views of Canadians, how then can he speak against the reforms we're bringing forward? The Honourable Minister of State for Democratic Reform. Well, Mr. Speaker, I did address uh, those arguments uh, in my speech. First of all, I believe that the system we have of uh, first past the post has given Canada good, stable, democratic government uh, and uh, government that Canadians are comfortable with. In fact, the, there have been proposals similar to the one the NDP puts before us, uh, offered in referendums uh, in British Columbia, Ontario and PEI, all of them uh, uh, were rejected uh, by the voters. Uh, and um, I think the member, there's a member across the way from the Liberal Party who pointed out that it was only in one riding in all of Ontario that, they, that electors voted in favour of this proportional system that the NDP now proposes. Canadians do not consider this proposal to be a priority. They want us to use our existing democratic system to focus on jobs growth and long-term prosperity. And with our low-tax plan, that is exactly what we're doing.